What's up, everyone? So today we're doing a trade recap. It's Monday, November 21st, Thanksgiving week. Had a nice trade on Tesla. My expectations were not very high, but the setup was there, so I took advantage of it. The two-minute downside opening range break with a technical level below and made $1,900. And also I wanna announce I'm jumping on the Black Friday sale bandwagon. I'm gonna do the sale from November 21st to November 25th, and I'm doing 50% off my day trading options guide. The promo code is gonna be 50 off that you use at checkout. I know I've talked about it a lot, but for those that don't know, I put together a day trading options guide. And what this really is, is it answers all the questions that I've received over the years of being on social media, how I approach the market and everything in between. This is the front page. And then here's the table of contents. These are all the topics that I go over. From day trading expectations to my trading mindset, my online broker, my trading setup, so you get a chance to see the actual screens and the computer and all the details of that, how I trade options, my trading rules, the indicators that I like, and then more importantly, going over my favorite daily chart patterns because that's where the idea is gonna come from, my favorite intraday chart patterns and my favorite intraday technical levels to trade around, and then I have examples of every single one of these things. And when you go through it, it's going to be in written form. And then at the bottom of each page, I have a YouTube link that goes to my YouTube channel that talks about that specific topic in detail with examples. I made sure to pack this with as much information as I possibly could, and I think it's totally worth the value. So there's going to be a link in the description below. And when you click on that and you go to check out, there's going to be a place to put that discount code and make sure to use 50 off. It's going to go from today till midnight on the 25th, so make sure to take advantage before it ends. So now let's get into the actual trade recap, and we'll go into the daily chart first because that's my process. Daily chart first, then I break it down on a lower time frame. And as far as Tesla, it's been very weak. Had a push up to the 9 EMA, failed, and made a new 52-week low on Friday. So anytime a stock is making a new 52-week low, I'm always going to think the path of least resistance is to the downside. Now, just because I think that does not mean that I'm going to go short because I obviously want a pattern to form and there are a handful of my bread and butter patterns that I go to. And today the two minute downside opening range break happened to be one of them and it worked really well. So before we go over the details of the trade, I just want to show the executions. I got a pretty good entry at this. I took the 177.50 puts on accident. I'm always trading at the money or next strike out of the money. But the one downside with options is sometimes you fumble and I accidentally clicked the 177.50s. But rather than overthinking, the setup was happening. So I just took the trade. But normally in a perfect situation, I would want to take the 175s. But it is what it is. I'm still going to execute the trade accordingly just based on the setup. So I ended up taking 20 of them, got filled at $5.70. Very nice washout, broke pre-market low, started to speed up to the downside and ended up getting out on the same candle at $6.65 for $1,900. So it ended up working out great and nothing works 100%. That's why my mentality is always gonna be go quick or get out or worst case scenario. If this made a new high a day, that's where I'm gonna bail because clearly it did not go in my favor. So let's really break it down. What happened off the open? The reason why I really like this is because that first move was up. Being that Tesla daily chart is very weak, I'm not gonna believe these moves up just because I feel like the overall battle the sellers are winning, but I don't want to short just because I want to start to see the sellers take back control. So I had a nice push higher, immediately failed to make a new high, and then started to roll over. Showed a lot of weakness. An aggressive red candle started to form. I ended up getting short right around 176, anticipating that new low, also knowing that if it made a new low, there was pre-market low that was close by. So this is a pretty good setup in my opinion. Ended up breaking the low of this first two minute candle. So if anybody bought into that, they're now underwater. And then it sped up very quickly in my favor. So made a new low, broke that pre-market low, get a very big move to the downside. And you know me by now, I'm not holding my winners. When I get those big moves in my favor, I don't care if it's very quick, I'm just gonna take those profits. And that's exactly what I did. I did not catch the bottom, but I don't care. I just wanna try to get a little piece if I can consistently do that over and over again, then I know that I can have consistent p &L. And after that trade, I was done. So a nice one and done day. When I can make that much, that quick off the open, there's no reason to mess a good thing up. And that's it. So a pretty simple setup and one that I cover in my day trading options guide. There's only a handful of setups that I like to go to each day. And this is one of them and it worked out great. And I'm pretty happy about it. Appreciate you watching the trade recap video. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I just wanna talk about a couple cool things that I have to offer. The first is gonna be my newsletter watch list. This is exactly what I post on my private Twitter 30 minutes before market open every single day. 
I do a quick analysis of the overall market, the SPY and the Qs, if there's any major market news that day, and then all the stocks I'm interested in watching, it's usually four or five, if there's any major news tied to them, and all the levels that I think are in play, to the left, this is exactly what I'm posting on my private Twitter. I make sure to add that newsletter. I take a screenshot of the charts, green line to the upside being long, red line to the downside being short, and I make sure to highlight those two levels above. This is everything that's going on in my mind and my game plan going into each market open. Also, I make sure to add a little mental note because every day is slightly different, and here's an example of that. And if you want something that's a little bit less of a commitment, I do offer a live one-on-one -on -one call for one hour. This is where you can ask me questions about my journey, go over setups specifically, everything that I've gone through as a trader, whether you're beginner or advanced, this is a great way to connect with me. So if you're interested in my private Twitter or the one-on-one -on -one live call, feel free to go to callmattdiamond.com or check out the links in the description below.